Hello, I'm Will Stood, and today we are building Haley Mills Viaduct. So I've been asked to make this for on track simulation, um, and nonetheless, let's get to it. As there's nobody in chat and nobody here, so I'm talking to myself. <laughs> right. So it all starts with Google Maps. Normally for me, I'm a professional 3D developer with just trains. Uh, I'm doing this in my spare time. So let's screen grab that. Open up Photoshop, new file. So I've been asked recently, how do I get my Google Maps overlay into 3ds Max? And I normally do that through this way. So let's make sure we actually get as much of a bridge as we can. So I'm building this for train sim, uh, not for TSW, unfortunately, because that's not readily available dev kits yet. All right, so where to begin? Take my screen grab. OTS, OTS leads Manchester, scenery, refs. Oh, Mark's just followed. Thank you very much, Mark. So this format doesn't matter who you, what format you do it in, because 3ds Max will read most natively. Hello, Mr. Mark. Yeah, if you could, that'd be great. I mean, right now, it's just me and Janine in chat, along with you now. <laughs> oh. So I'm still sounding it out just for the videos. Oh yeah, you can hear the dogs in the background. Uh, so once I have my reference, I'm going to do a plane the same size as the dimensions of this image, which for me are normally 1050 by 920. So I translate that into meters. You get 105 by 190. Oh, no you don't. Wrong way around. Alright. Now. Because this image is the same dimensions as it is pixels, it should maintain the aspect ratio of the image which means I should get a pretty nice oh, uh, different file location source, OTS, these Manchester scenery, refs, there you go All right. so this is going to be my key to get it into a correct scale so I'll make a box that's the same size as my key, so it's going to be 5 by 5. Now I can make that transparent. 
and if I move my key over and match it, I know that my model is going to be the correct dimensions, if not a couple of a little bit out, but you know, people aren't going to judge me on my millimeters. So now that's all set up. Up first is to go object properties, back face coal, turn off show frozen in grey because I'm going to freeze it in place so I don't mess with it. But not before I set my origin point. So you want to look for the black darker lines in the grey and get that roughly to where you want the centre of your object to be. This really helps later on in game when you bring it in because this, this zero, 0 point in the middle is going to be where your origin point is in game. So let's freeze that in place because I'd be quite happy with that origin point. Now I've already done a bit of research into this model. Let's quickly rename that to my reference. And I know that this bridge consists of three arches and two little side roads. So that's going to be the start of my bridge. Turn my grid off so you see a bit better. Now, if I map out where my offshoots are, I can let 3ds Max do the math for me. So roughly about here-ish, I would say. Okay, now I've got my two little side bits on, on, on for the roads, and now I can do where my arches are going to be. So I know I've got three arches, so I can do oh, two. So that, if I were to extrude up. Is going to give me. Ah, thank you very much, Mark. I'm sorry if I don't respond straight away. My text box is on my different monitor, so I can't. I have to turn my head physically to see it. But I'll get. I'll get there. This is all, all new to me. Other than the three D modeling bit, you know. So I say, you never know. Right. So I've got five meter high pillars. These are just going to mark my center point so that I know roughly where the middle of each arch is going to be. And I can just chamfer this edge down. Helps if I select all the edges that I want chamfered. Now there is a way of doing this and getting a much more precise measurement, but for now I'm just going to eyeball it. So it's quite a quite a big arch, so I need to Kind of like that. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty fair. Now all my normals are the wrong way around, so let's flip these. I don't, I don't really know what is conventional when it comes to bridges, mate. I just make them. You know more about them than I do. Now I don't like how narrow, how, how how fat those legs are, so let's make them a bit more narrow. Too chunky on me, right. Let's go into street view to get a better look. Nice gap in the trees here. 
Yeah. Ooh. Got some nice bridge decoration. They're what I like to call bridge nipples. Alright. So I can see there's a slight lip around the edge. So let's model all of that in. So I'm assuming this is flat. I'm going to bring in my export that I've got prepared off screen somewhere and see that it's not flat and Mark's going to be upset. Um, oh, he sent it to me earlier. So the beauty with train sim exports is you can just drag them directly into 3ds Max, and they look horrific because it's just a mess of polygons all inside and outside. So I'm guessing, lining it up to his export. Right, so lining it up. Oh, it looks looks pretty flat. I'd be happy with that. Okay. Uh, something tells me that my road is off though. Oh, thank you for following. This is the first stream, so let's see how it goes. Um, oh, goodness. Aren't I popular? Right. Uh, now, either Mark's track is off place. Or good evening. Um, okay, okay. I'll 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 assume it's your bad. Because well, that's not gonna work with the bridge, mate. But at least I know it's level, so you'll just have to work around my bridge. It's normally how we do it anyway. I make the assets, you make it work. Hello. Uh, right. Sorry if this is a bit shaky. Um, this is my first stream. And it should get better in the upcoming weeks. I'm planning on streaming at least twice a week. Mostly on Thursdays and maybe another day. We'll see how it goes. See how popular it is. Goodness. 
Yeah, sorry if the stream cuts out a bit. My net's been playing up just a tad. Oh. Tom's now hosting me. Thank you very much, Tom. Or Mark set it up. I don't know who's done it. Uh, I don't know if the Malfi one's at his PC or not. He hasn't been all day, so let's find out. The beauty of this is I can ask Mark questions whilst doing this in real time. Like, for example, did you need the banking to meet it up to the road, Mr. Mark? The, uh, the road has a bit of a banking to it. Did you need that banking as part of the model, or are you going to do that yourself? Or would you rather just a straight wall? Okay. So I'll just put a straight wall in for now and just to give me something to model to. Right, so. It's just a bit narrower, shall we? About there. Perfect. So I'm going to try and get this model done tonight, but obviously, I'm only do I'm I'm only streaming till nine o'clock, maybe. See how it goes. So. Let's put a face in. Um, one trick I did learn recently is if you just extrude from this edge, it gives you a pretty decent start if you remove these bits. these in the middle. Ooh. Now it's not the most exciting of jobs doing 3D modeling for train sim, but it's just definitely definitely fun if you're a sad act like me. I mean, especially working with Mark and Tom, because, let's face it, Tom is a very demanding man. Very demanding. No, it's, it's, it's not tremendously difficult. It's, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's wanting to do better every model. I mean, when, when I started with this, I mean, my, my first... My first ever real big model I did was um, Uxbridge Station on the Met Line, which uh, took me quite some time. Uh, only to have the explanation of it butchered by a particular person from Blackpool, or sorry, Blackpool area. Oh, thank you, Alex Lights Trains. I am sorry if I'm not catching all of these. Uh... Yeah, Blender. Blender is a fantastic tool. Um, I I used to work uh, before I wasn't before I worked for just trains. I used to be a product designer, uh, where we used nothing but Blender. 
because um, uh, I, I have a degree in 3D design which taught me how to use 3ds Max uh, which a lot of people prefer over Blender but it's, it's got a really hefty price tag to it so I can see why people use Blender um, There are a lot of things that Blender has that I wish 3ds Max had, but then it's vice versa as well. Like there's there's functionality that 3ds Max has that Blender doesn't have. Like uh, 3ds Max has much better unwrapping tools. Like with any form of art, it's important to keep looking back at your subject be it a bridge or a bowl of fruit. Because the moment you look away is the moment you start forgetting details. So that's it as well. Let's say 0.5 meter. over here, some terrible, terrible bodies. Uh, it's a sure that these are symmetrical because everyone loves symmetrical. So I am hopefully going to get through the entire process of how I do modelling uh, because I'd like to show you guys some techniques that I do with Photoshop and other tools. Oh, good, happen good heavens, what's happened here? It's alright, I can fix it. I fix things. If it gets too bad, I have to know someone who's pretty good at making signs who could probably make a bridge for me. Oh, love modeling supermarkets. They're so easy and so. Well, they're, they're, they're not easy because it's lots of little detail, but it's 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 nice to do when you get it right because it's just such a big building. Oh, hands down, he, I've I've seen him speed build like. I wish I could keep up with people like Tom. It's 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 the Blackpool Air. Right. So he's gone to Nottingham. What the fuck is he doing in Nottingham? Oh, saying that he did, he, he did have that mate yesterday. He was looking to pick up a car in Nottingham. Some severe gen there. Fucking Nottingham. Oh. Sorry if I swear. I try not to, but these things happen. Uh, don't limit yourselves to. Feeling like you have to. Um, hmm. I am going to make this slightly more symmetrical because 
Google has a tendency of warping the image from above because of the curvature of the earth. So if I bring this in and it's too small, Mark can scale it down to size. Oh, that'd be great actually if he could take some pictures for me, but I doubt he's going to. So, let's oh, that's not going to work. Keep as is. So, let's look back at the bridge again. That looks roughly what I would assume to be about a two meter wall, a meter and three quarters. Let's put that on top and see how that looks. So, oh, yeah, let's do it like that. Doing it this way isn't a great way because it can cause this way you're making sure everything is a polygon, which is always handy when it comes to unwrapping. But if if I wanted to, I could just drag a wall across the top. Uh, this way isn't great because it increases more polys, but at the end of the day you get a much nicer model out of it, so a bit more control over your model. Um, it, de it depends what level of sign you want to go to. I mean... I, I, I can knock out a sign in about 10 minutes and get it in game, I guess. Depends on the detail. I mean, I, I, I tried teaching Tom sort of some of the basics of Blender because he was because he was interested in making a sign. Uh, so I cho he, he chose a really nice and simple one, but we never really got past getting it in Blender because not saying Tom's hard to teach, but you know, he's been driving trains for God knows how long. He still can't drive a steam, so. Right, let's give these some little lips. Give it a bit of character. Tom the sign man, he is. What about this side? Oh, sorry about that. Which one? The one above the side? The, the one above the archway or the danger? Danger electric sign. Oh, the purple one. Oh. So I've done. I've done things like that quite recently actually um, it's a lot of Photoshop work a lot of Photoshop work but you know it's whatever people's comfortable doing something like that I'd probably normally dedicate a day to though, if I could Now, this is where I cheat. So, in 3ds Max, and most definitely in Blender, you can slice the model in two. Delete that half. 
and then a mirror on the Y. And then boom, archways on both sides. Then you just attach them back into place. Well down the middle. And remove the unwanted geometry. And now oh, we have something that starts to look like a bridge. Flagstones on both sides. Lots of extra geometry which we don't need, but I will clean that up when it comes around to texturing just to make it run a bit better in game so we're not pulling on FPS or anything horrible like that. Um, optimi model optimization is sort of my thing that I do a lot because um, I've, I've, I've done it on lots of routes, uh, lots of trains. Um, I was the person responsible for optimizing the S8, so that took me a good couple of weeks, which was fun. Um. Oh yeah, God, goodness, the FPS on the Met line. That was a that was a horrible problem to fix. I remember I remember running through Oxbridge, which was quite a heavy heavy FPS area anyway. Before I did my optimizations, and we were lucky to get like five FPS. We couldn't even use Train Sim to measure the FPS because of how because it only caps at fourteen. I remember me and Tom talking about it like the day before, like, well, a couple of days before I did my optimizations. Like, yeah, this isn't going to work because just, it's just not playable. You know, when you're 13 months through development and you suddenly realize you can't play your route you've just made, you kind of <laughs> up shit's creek a bit. That was a fun one to tell Mr. Ford. Definitely getting something that resembles a bridge now. So what we're going to do is just get rid of some unwanted geometry that we don't need. Stuff that's not going to really affect the bridge too much. I'll keep the center points. Oh, this is nice and peaceful. Really relaxing music. If you guys can hear the music, apparently it was really quiet earlier. Um, Mr. Ford doesn't get angry, he just gets righteous. Oh, music's gone off. Okay, let me put, turn the music up. Uh, oh, goodness. That's not the right kind of thought of music. Ooh. Bit more upbeat. Oh god, I've lost Streamlabs now. No, I can't, can't, 
can't, can't do this. Uh, let's go back to meditation. There you go. Oh god. Right. Oh my god, I had a whole playlist earlier. Right, that's that's a bit better. Alright. Yeah, I'll put it up I'll put it back on the meditation stuff. Put a gronk on it. I can't I can't say I'm familiar with that one. One thing I would like to point out right now, unlike Tom and Mark, I am not an enthusiast. In fact, I've only recently gotten into trains, and that's purely from work. But I'm getting there. I'm learning. One second. Scared to click the link. Uh, well, to be honest, working with JT as long as I have, I, I'm not far off Tom's knowledge. But the difference is, is I know a lot of other things, like how to breathe properly. And I'm mathematics, so that's saying quite a lot. I don't mean to pick on Tom, he's my friend really, when he wants to be. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, he makes me laugh. People who make me laugh, I like to consider as my friend. Figured out why he's gone to Nottingham. Is that is that the actual reason? Well, it wouldn't be the first time. Why? Well,
So I'm just filling in a little bit of the minor details. Nothing set in stone yet. Instead, I'll do this. And then do that. For some reason I can't picture Tom carjacking someone. Just walking up and it's like, give me your car, it'll be alright. Not gonna hurt you, unless you need me to. Uh, oh. Although, to be honest with you, in a carjacking he's likely to hurt himself. <laughs> Steals a car, drives away, gets pulled over. <laughs> Get out of the car, mate. <laughs> mate, 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 out of the car. Mate. some proper lighting. Yeah, that's nice enough. I can get rid of this extra geometry around the edge because that doesn't need to be there. It's only going to get in my way later. the issue. Get rid of this extra geometry, it doesn't need to be here. Sneaky hidden bollies. It's 
See, I don't like I know what I'm doing. I, I wing it from day to day mostly. Sorry if the constant zooming and zooming out gets to people. It's just how I work. Because I'm used to a 4K monitor, but my one currently doesn't work. looking good now. Oh, it's 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 I, I find that there are so many different ways that people three D model. Like you know, you got like the whole spline modeling thing if you're doing like cars and stuff and all of that junk. But everyone have their own style. Is this music? Oh my god. It's a bit more a beat. Saves me falling asleep. Oh, thank you for the follow. Alright. Oh, and again, Dan H, thank you. Oh, goodness. If I had known, I'd be, if I had known this had been this popular, I'd started ages ago. Alright. Thank you.
Hi Casey, how's it going? How's, how's the Malfi one doing? Oh, he's in Birmingham. What's he doing in Birmingham? <laughs> His Twitch has kicked off so much, he can do a UK tour. straight line. That makes sense now. Let's check all of these. Good to see social distancing is still in effect. That's right, if he drives anything like Mark, like Mark he'll be back from Birmingham in about 12 minutes. It's not that you don't, it's not that you drive fast mate, it's just that, you know, it's been a long time since I feared for my life when we went on that research trip. <laughs> yeah, it's a peaceful night in. Just make sure that these are all straight.
Yeah, I know. I don't know what's up with it. The playlist I set up's gone a bit funky. It's a bit too tribal. So what I'm going to do is I know how tall this bridge is. So it is thanks to a little bit of graffiti over here. It's 11 foot 3 inches. Now my metric isn't good enough for that. 3 inches is 3.528, so 3.35. So. That doesn't look right. Three point three five. Huh? I guess it is means that road's way higher than I initially thought. Definitely got my mass right there. Well, Google has. 11 foot 3 inches. 3.4. Move that up by 10 centimeters. And then I can just literally about there. Let's make my life easier and just attach these. Oh, this is taking much longer than I thought it would, so I apologise for that.
Looks about right for me, I reckon. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I'm fairly certain if I'm wrong, Mark will, Mark will yell at me. He's a very angry man. He yells at me a lot. This is the issue with 3D modelling and talking. Got to concentrate. Concentrate on both. I don't have that kind of concentration. Uh, yes, my microphone was turned off and I've been talking to myself, apparently, for the last couple of minutes. Is it coming through now, right? Um, I think I've got the road height pretty spot on once you take into account the girders. Because if you look on this, it looks to start at least after the arch.
against him every time. I forget every time. So let's make my job a bit easier. that for a second and hide that I promise it will make sense Ignore the dogs, they're just getting comfy. That's what that noise is. Oh god. Ah, that's what that was. Save some time, let's delete this half and mirror it. So we're lined. And now I can do my girders. So let's take a look at how many girders we've got under here. And so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Weird number, but still. Starting to see it now. I should hope so. It looks like a bloody bridge. So I can cheat again by letting 3ds Max do all the calculations for me. So we go 13, and then boom. That's gonna perfectly space out my pillars for me. Let's just make one of them.
so I'm not sure if I've mentioned this. This is a bridge for um, OTS for their Leeds Manchester route. Yeah, welcome to uh, Bishop Auckland. Uh, the, the, the grimy, grimy streets of County Durham. That gives me my girders. Save on some optimization. Because you're never going to see these polys, so. Delete those. Oh, if it's into that side, and if it's into that side. up. That goes up. Oh, doesn't need to go quite that high. Right? Let's put hard to unwrap later because you know I hate myself so this should just for the sake of aesthetics pop this in and I can delete 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 Getting close. 
to the next stage, which would be baking. Because you should always bake your models, especially in a engine that doesn't have dynamic lighting. There's a specific cut tool you can use to do this, but I like to do it this way because it just ensures all my polys are quite nice and I can never get a perfectly straight line with a cut tool either. So what I'm going to do is going to grab one of these. Why that's gone crooked. Not attached to anything else, so straighten it out. These are just to cap off the ends because Mark doesn't like it when I don't cap off the ends. to me again how are we looking polywise I set myself to triangles because all of the DTG documentation is in triangles oh 3.3 3 point3 3 .3 means I've got some play to make some things a bit better. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some of those reinforcement struts once I close off these. So 
but let's get a closer look at these reinforcements. No, wrong tab. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay. Well, you know, this 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 is why you asked me to do models because I do small details, mate. Quick and nasty. Some dick has just found his horn. Now, oh, if only he'd find his accelerator and fuck off. That <laughs> drugs are in. <laughs> Ice cream man came later, mate. Earlier, mate. Set them all slightly. I'm not going to get any Z fighting. Turn off smoothing so you can actually see the shapes. Oh, yeah. Rival drug crew. Yet again, gritty, gritty streets of County Durham. Oh, lovely dots. Really hope the microphone didn't pick up my dog just vomiting. but my St. Bernard is a mess of a dog yeah I'm talking about you oh she's on the move well you know many people vomited on stream I can imagine I can imagine Twitch will probably ban it because it's probably a fetish
I mean, to be brutally honest, if we ever if we ever got around to that Christmas stream we were planning, I would have most likely vomited on stream then. No, I mean, I, I, I mean the. If we just streamed, if if we just streamed at the JT Christmas party, then yeah, you wouldn't have been able to speak, because Mister I don't drink Walker could barely stand. I'll always remember that night as the night that we all ordered a curry and Mark couldn't figure out which rice was his, so he just stuck his finger in everyone's rice. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at how that looks. I'm pretty happy with that. So aren't my smoothing under here? Actually that looks smooth, it looks like a lighting error. Yeah, smooth in there. Ate some forties. You ate most of forties dish. I was just sitting you watch I was watching you do it. First you stole someone's beer because it came to the table and no one claimed it. Then the rice came and you were like, that's my rice and stuck your thumb in it. <laughs> right. So, that's the base of the model done. Let's name it. One underscore. To the normal DTG naming conventions. Uh... Well, if we were calling it DTG, we'd have to call it something like we would have missed this one. Okay. So what we're going to do... No, do not attach that. Is we are going to... Unwrap this on UV2. Just give it a quick flat map, quick and dirty. This is where everything crashes, the stream goes funny, no one can hear me. Uh, oh, oh, is 3DX Max going to crash? Oh, oh, hello. Am I still live? Right. <laughs> so, that's now wrapped. In the quick and dirty way, so we're going to shadow bake it. With a lighting map. Save it somewhere. skip the tar section all together straight to DDS and we will call it uh, Hayley Mills Viaduct oh. this is where everyone realises I'm dyslexic and can't type Viaduct SM
So this is where my machine is going to struggle now. Haley, that's how you that's how you say it. That's how it's written. Sorry, is it supposed to be like Healy? Healy, like those um, awesome skate shoes you used to get with the wheels in the middle. Yeah, Healy. Yeah, that's it. Like, uh, yeah. So I'm going to call this uh, Razor Scooter Bridge then. So render out at 1024 hmm bit of artifacts I can clean up in Photoshop layer Saved. I need to save that. We should probably save this as I haven't saved it yet. Uh, quickly hide my file structures, but I'm too slow. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, yes, there you go. Pinch for name. as IGS Razor Scooter Mills Viaduct don't know for a confiscation. It's fine, it's released now. All my source files are everywhere, so it doesn't matter if I ever write it. People already bought a product. My job's done, mate. I'd like to save. Oh, export. Non real work material found because I didn't assign a material to it. Let's give it a real work material. I'm a professional, I know what I'm doing. I've done this plenty of times and I still fuck it up every time. No, nope, that's references. Textures. These channel two. Channel two. Northern accent. I'm from South. I'll have you know, sir. Just because I live in the North, I haven't gone native yet. All right, let's see what this looks like in game. So let's create a quick scenery blueprint. Give it a name. Razor Scooter Hills Bridges, Viaducts and Tunnels This just helps it come in at every person's settings I don't know why it sounds like a horror movie I have just picked up on that Let's go back to this one Oh, it's inside out. Okay, this can happen for time. <laughs> Fuck. I'm a professional, I know what I'm doing. Right, okay. 
this happens because the X forms go all funny. So transform scale happens when you mirror a few too many times. Reset X form, reset selected. Yep, now it's telling me it's all inside out. So flip. And it's bright white, but I think it's showing what we want to show. in there. Nice girders. But it's definitely a step in the right direction. Let's get on texturing this bad boy. If I say so again, I'm gonna have a stroke. No issue, mate. Oh, sorry about punching my microphone. So. This is a website I use for almost all of my textures, uh, other than the ones I make, of course, but then I normally use ones from this as a base. So textures.com, can't beat it. So we are going to want some brick, medieval, and then probably blocks. Let's see what they got in here. Yeah, this is the ticket. So a quick look at our bridge to remember what bricks look like. Yeah, that's what we want. Oh, goodness, bright. Uh, well, I ain't got this one. This one looks okay. Let's do some magic with Photoshop. Now, there are loads and loads of different ways that people texture. Um, from being a product designer, I used to texture in PBRs, which is a uh, physics-based rendering rendering stuff, if I remember correctly, uh, where basically you have your maps separated out. Oh, welcome back. Into you have your map separated out into specular and ambient occlusion and roughness and all of that. In in classical terms, you would do your entire model, flatten it out, then texture it. But this, I find this way is much better, and it, it's also going to help in the transition to TSW when we finally get our dev kits. So this brick is a bit dirty. Dirty. Make it a bit more dirty. Get rid of the saturation. Press amp it up a bit. Yeah. Bring up the dark levels. Make 
it seamless. down here. Uh, let's just go dirt and see what comes up. Get a mask touch or something as a PNG. Mm, that's nice. Something like that. Inventive name like Brick01. Select where I want the texture to be. Set ID to two. Create a multi material. Always easier to work with, that way you're not messing up your palette. Lighten up with 
use. Copy that for later. set this one to show up and then there now I can get into some proper unwrapping Let's look at my unwrapping editor. Now I like my bricks to line up. How quickly was done? Just the entire modeling process. Well, you know, it, it takes it takes practice. I've I've been doing I've been using 3ds Max for, oh, let's see, since my first degree. So we're going going back about nine years. I've been a 3D modeler for well over ten, fifteen years now. Uh, you you do you do you do pick the odd trick up. And unfortunately, when working for JT, you got to be as fast as possible. Not unfortunately, because it taught me some really good tricks. Uh, uh, yeah, I want them to face that way. So, I should be able to see what I'm doing in real time, but it's because I've got it set to wrong map. There you go. Ooh. Okay, let's get these to line up, shall we?
angles ever so slightly. See what layers do in that. That layer is almost making a tile. Much better. Can't let it's tiling anywhere near as much now. Still tiles, but there's nothing really I can do about that. a little bit of geometry back in for these bits. These are just going to be rusty metal, which is going to be easy to do. Loads of textures for rust. Oh, punch my microphone again. That's not how you spell rust. Alright. Oh. That's not a seamless texture. Thank you very much. Ooh, that one. Mm, no, agreed. Good, good one to make note of that. Mm. Saves me time making it. So. Lovely descriptive name, so I can find them later when I do new models. Let's get maybe use channel three. Pretty decent. Right. Now I think I'm going to have to wrap it up here for now. Uh, I shall finish texturing next week if anyone is interested in watching. Uh, I would like to thank you, everyone who's here. Uh, and I hope you guys have been in, in, entertained. And if you have, I'll be more than happy to keep going. 
Don't worry, Mark. I'll I'll, I'll do some uh, Twitch streaming for you tomorrow. Not Twitch streaming. Uh, Discord streaming for you tomorrow whilst we work. All right. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much, and I shall see you guys all later. Oh, that's the wrong song. <laughs> right. Thank you, and goodbye.